Good evening. One of Queensland's most senior police officers is tonight facing years in jail, officially suspended from the force. Superintendent Michelle Stenner is accused of misconduct and perjury and lying to investigators. Really good news Superintendent Michelle Stenner was a rising star in the force. Speaking to Channel 9 exclusively in feature stories, she talked like a cop who saw everything as either right or wrong, proud of her integrity. If anyone has the intention of causing dramas within our area or acting suspiciously or coming into our, into this area to cause problems, we are watching them. The career officer is now charged with offences that strike at her truthfulness, accused of misconduct and three counts of perjury lying under oath. I don't think we've seen this kind of seniority involved in allegations of criminal behaviour since Fitzgerald, so uh, th this is going to be a shock to the community and I suspect a shock to many serving police officers. It's alleged in May 2016 at the Surfers Paradise Police Station, she signed false documents on a recruitment application for the daughter of her superior, Chief Superintendent Terry Borland, and then last month lied to crime and corruption investigators about it. Both officers have been on sick leave since. Days after her testimony, Nine News called Superintendent Stenner and asked about rumours she was under investigation. You take for it, from it what you want, but I've got my comment, so... Yeah, that's all right. Um, that, that, they... and, I'm, and frankly, I'm sick to death of it. No. I'm on leave at the moment, so yeah, enjoying I... time with my family. After a series of brutality claims against Gold Coast Police two years ago, Stenner was the personal choice of the police commissioner to re-establish discipline amongst the area's 900 officers. Ian Stewart today said, I'm personally very disappointed a senior officer is being charged with very serious criminal offences. Everyone knows what our standards are and that we hold them dear. Nothing but impeccable behaviour will be tolerated. I'd imagine there'd be many junior police out there scratching their heads going, uh, what's going on here, what's happened? There's speculation Triple C investigators may also be preparing more charges against other Gold Coast police. Darren, what sort of penalty could this officer face? Well, Andrew, police telling lies is considered a striking at the heart of justice and judges believe police who fail deserve a tougher penalty than others in the community. Generally, they get around 18 months to two years in jail and, of course, they lose their job. Now, there's also concern that this incident may have eroded trust in police management on the Gold Coast. And, Melissa, there's now a push on to have all the senior police replaced or transferred out before the Commonwealth Games. Thanks for that update.